Mr. Speaker, Budget 2017 was an opportunity to meet the needs of Canadian seniors, but the Liberal government told them to keep waiting. The Canadian Medical Association said, quote, Budget 2017 fails Canadian seniors. CARB said, quote, financial security for seniors not on the agenda. Divide and conquer deals with the provinces aren't the solution. We need a national seniors strategy. Why did yesterday's budget leave Canadian seniors wanting and waiting? Mr. Speaker, I am so thankful for this question, which gives me an opportunity to talk about the fantastic news in our budget yesterday as it relates to health, and of course that includes the health of seniors. We were able to announce additional investments in the order of $11 billion here, that here. will go to home care, including palliative care, that will go to mental health, and of course that includes seniors' needs like dementia, that will be able to support them. It included things like $11 billion for housing that here, will include here. social housing to support seniors. There was so much good news in the budget. I'm looking forward to working with colleagues to put that work into place.